Greetings, psychology aspirants. Very warm welcome to this video. In this session, we are going to look at the psychology entrance exam paper of Delhi University 2019 for masters. So we are going to look at the previous year exam, which was taken place in 2019 for MA psychology admissions in Delhi University. Right. Without any delay, I'll start with the first question. The question is an expression of emotions that is expected to the reduction of disturbing symptoms. So what do we call it? This is an easy question. This is catharsis. Now catharsis is the expression. When you express your emotions, your emotional energy gets out, you went out. And when it happens, there is a reduction of the emotional turmoil or tensions and the disturbing symptoms. Catharsis is comforting in nature, which happens during the psychotherapy also. So the B option is correct here. And I'll move on to the next question. So before we move ahead with the more questions, let us uh, help you out how to find this question paper. So you can go to the powerwithinpsychology.com website. You go to the test series sections. And in that section, you see the masters in psychology pack. So the master's jumbo pack consists of all the test papers that are there for Delhi University, Jamia, BHU as well. There are almost 25, 26 test papers can you find, uh, that you can find there. All right? So you can go just uh, there on the website and attempt the test paper. You get all the results and the explanations as well as the solutions of the questions. Also, you can find the link of the website uh, in the description of the video. You just click on it and it will redirect you to the website. Now, moving on to the questions. Second question, a self-report questionnaire for assessing aspects of the self-concept, which is this technique. So most of these techniques are used in researches and projective techniques can also be used in the assessment and diagnosis also. A self-report questionnaire is specifically Q-sort technique. So Q-sort technique or the Q assessment, Q methodology is basically done for the systematic study of participants' views to understand their views. So if you have different participants, if you want to understand their stances and their positions and their views about the topic, then you can use the Q methodology or the Q-sort technique to uh, for your research, basically. So the correct answer will be option D here. We'll move on to the next question. Excuses, apologies, and exemplification are techniques of what? So this is impression management, where you want others to see yourself in a specific way, and you use excuses, apologies, and examples to, uh, to explain your behavior or to excuse your behavior that I am like this because of this. So these are just to maintain an impression of what you are, how you are over others. So that is impression management. We will move on to the next question. Tests that involve comparing an individual test score to an objectively Objective standards simply say. So when we use these kind of comparison uh, between your score and some external criteria, so that becomes the criterion referenced test. So you are comparing your scores, your performance to an expected or objectively set criterion uh, that is out there. Next question. Which of the following is not a pattern of attachment assessed by strange situation and attachment, Q sort? So for this, the correct answer will be option D. As you might get an idea after seeing this question that disorganized, avoidant, and resistant are uh, somehow dysfunctional or clinical attachment styles also, which are observed. And this particular assessment doesn't include, doesn't focus on the interactive attachment style, which is not that of a major 
concerned also. So option D will be correct here. Next question, the term dash refers to an, any environmental agent that causes damage during the prenatal period. So during the prenatal pe period, any external environmental agent that can cause harm to the embryo is called teratogen. So option C will be correct here. Now this is a technical uh, word. So if you're not aware with these terms, that is fine. You can just Google them. Teratogen is that external agent which can cause harm to the embryo during the prenatal period. Seventh question, flex time and job sharing are examples of what? So these are examples of alternative work arrangement. Flex time, which represents the flexible timings, represents the alternative hours, alternative schedules of work that an employee can do. Job sharing is also alternative work arrangement in which you can share some aspects of job. And this is an alternative way of doing your job slash work. So flexible timings, flex time and job sharing are alternative work arrangements. These are alternative work arrangements to the traditional work arrangements. Next question. Maheshwari has more awards in badminton to her name under double category than single matches. So basically it is saying that Maheshwari performs bet better in doubles rather than in singles. So what does this represent? This represents that having the, uh, that the audience or more people has a positive effect on Maheshwari. So having a companion in this particular situation, playing a doubles match is more facilitating and a positive impact on Maheshwari. This is what we mean by social facilitation. When, uh, when the social environment or the presence of audience impacts your uh, performance and mostly in a positive way. Right? So this is social facilitation. Next question. Of late, every time Karen had an appointment with her therapist, she would come with an excuse to delay or procrastinate her meetings. According to her therapist, reminds of her father with whom she shares an ambivalent and complex relationship. So it's simply transference that, uh, that the person, Karen, she can see her father's image in the therapist. And due to this transference, she is unable to, or she is, she tends to procrastinate or delay the meetings. Next question. Children's view of morality in terms of realism and fixed dictates of authority is referred to was. So this, this will not be distributive justice because distributive justice is about the amount of rewards that you are, you, you are giving. Hydral reciprocity is about reciprocity that if someone helps you, you help someone. When we come to autonomous and heteronomous morality, so autonomous morality are is your personal standards of morality, while heteronomous morality is the outside standards of morality, which has been built by some external authority. So option D will be correct here, that children view morality as established by the elders or external authority, and they imbibe that morality, and this is they view that reality as a term in the sense of realism. So for them, morality is a realistic thing. It's, it's about realism. It's not focus, focus for them. It's a real thing. So option this D will be correct here. Coming to question 11, the uniqueness of individual experience and behavior is a focus of what? So that is ideographic approach. in contrast to which the nomothetic approach is about finding the general principles which can be applied to human society, right? Well, hiding one's feelings and engaging in emotional expressions aligned to display rules is known as what? So the correct answer for this is, is deep acting. So we talk about 
two kind of acting surface acting and deep acting surface acting happens when the person tries to uh tries to hide their feelings or emotions by by uh, behaving in an opposite or another way so if you are sad you will try to hide this feeling by smiling that is a surface acting on the other hand deep acting is somewhat uh where you hide your feelings and you try to regulate your emotions in such a way that uh, that matches the situation or in a way that uh, that achieves the purpose which you want to do so if in a situation you want to if you don't want to be vulnerable and but you are feeling vulnerable you will try to uh, regulate your emotions in such a way that you don't feel vulnerable it's not just about hiding the vulnerable it's also about regulating emotions and putting efforts to change the emotion in that sense the correct answer is deep acting here a chemical substance that mimics the action of a neurotransmitter is agonist agonist and the opposite is antagonist which uh, which uh, displays a behavior that is opposite to the behavior of a neurotransmitter so that is an antagonist leaders while make decisions under high stress situations tend to keep their cool and make better decisions and enhance their effectiveness are high on which aspect so this is emotional intelligence because basically they are talking about how leaders in difficult situations handle their frustration and emotions and stress and by handling by being aware of their emotions and managing them they can they are a better they are better leaders so this is emotional intelligence awareness of emotions and regulating them people who have personality traits of dash resist strain reactions when subject to stressful events and has and are commit committed control and challenging so basically the question is asking which personality trait refers uh, to the tendency of people that they they don't get affected by stressful events much and they are able to cope with them so that is hardiness now hardiness refers to this only that uh, there is a there are people there are some people who are very good at handling stressful events because they have this hardiness trait of personality and it's a technical term so it's not something that just uh, is being made up in the question it's a technical term next token economic is used in which kind of therapy so that is a uh, straightforward answer Straight token economy is a behavioral therapy concept in which you collect tokens which can be uh, used or which can be leveraged in the end for certain kind of rewards a condition of psychological health resulting from integration of conscious and unconscious facets of the personality is which concept so this is this can be a confusing question because it can feel like it's not murray's subsidization subsidization or maslow's self actualization you know that it's pretty much clear so can be confused about jung's individuation and rogers fully functioning person so rogers fully functioning person has some kind of certain traits that define the fully functioning person what we are seeing here in the question is a process where the conscious and the unconscious faces of the personality uh, interact with each other and brings out the self in the person now that te- technically is called jung's individuation Right. Next question. Arvind is extremely competitive, always in a hurry, and often irritable. Which of the following forms of aggression he is most likely to engage in? So you know that is the type A personality, and these people can be hostile. So if you just go to them and if you disturb them, they can be very hostile because they they are focused on something. They they are feeling the urgency of the time. So they are in stress and tension. Okay, we will skip this question. Last question for today. 
sensation seeking personality as given by these other men negatively correlates with which personality concept so sensation seeking is about um search for experiences and feelings that are novel different various unique complex and intense and to take risk for having such experiences that is what called as sensation seeking so now that relates to psychoticism because of the risk involved in it an extroversion also an openness to experience on the other hand conscientiousness is one trait which is the tendency to be responsible organized hard working and to adhere to the norms and the rules so it is opposite to the sensation seeking conscientiousness and that's why there will be a negative correlation between them so option c is correct answer here these are all the questions we are going to do today if you are attempting this question live then you can go to the report and you can see the results here how many questions you have attempted and where do you stand in comparison of the other students also who have also taken the test what time did you take how uh, what was your speed and how did you do the different sections and a lot if you have any confusions any doubts regarding this paper you are uh, always welcome to comment or ask your doubts in the comment section you can also reach out to us on the website and or whatsapp also in the end uh, i hope this is helpful for uh, for you you can find the link in the description of the video and if you face any difficulty just let us know take care have good learning and bye bye